On the setup, I go into my clean room in there where we were and, and uh, uh, put the strings on. But I do the finishing here too. Uh, the finishing is just a wipe on, wipe off finish. It's, I don't use any spray equipment. And I just, uh, <clears throat> it's a polyurethane uh, that you put on, you let it sit for a little while and then you wipe it off. And I really like it because it feels real smooth and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's safe to apply and uh, it feels really well. If we were pretending to be done with this uke, um, it's got strings on it. And it's tuned up and ready to play. And um, anyone who's been around string instruments for a while know that um, the more an instrument is played, the, the better it sounds. It always improves in sound. And I, uh, one of the theories is that um, by playing it, the vibrations uh, relieve a lot of the stress in the woods that are just naturally in the woods and then from gluing uh, clamps and all this other stuff. It's, there's, it's a pretty tight little unit. But um, by playing it, it tends to loosen that. And I, I agree with that theory. But this little machine has four picks here. And um, it goes like that and the picks come up and, and pick the strings. I have a uh, calculator here that I made into a um, one plus one equals made into a counter every so every time it goes around it clicks a little switch and and counts the revolutions counts the number of times that they get plucked so the instrument gets fit in there And I like to play my instruments a million strokes, which takes about nine or ten days. <clears throat> so this is going on when I have a run of instruments, this is going on constantly, 24 hours a day. And I don't get used to it. I never get used to it. It's always something there in the back of my mind. But it, it's, it's not too noisy with the little sound deadening and you don't hear a lot. And I need to build another one because of my volume is going up. But we're at 50 strokes already. So a million strokes. A million strokes, yeah. And it makes a difference. When you pull it out, it actually sounds more open and fuller. And the strings are worn out. It wears a little groove right in the string, so I have to replace the strings. But I, I think it's I think it works well. I, it makes a big difference. These are nylon strings. Uh, it takes longer for them to stretch up and, and get to their tension and hold that tension. So you're constantly tuning them after you after you put new strings on. You're just constantly tuning. But uh, I, it's just one of those things that nylon string players, uh, classical guitar players, get used to. The, uh, the low string on this, the low G string, is a, a viola string. It's actually a wound string, a silver wound string. Um, you can't see the windings. It's, it's, uh, it's flat wound, which means it's, they put the winding on there and then they grind it so all the little bumps are, are flat. Makes it sound when you doesn't make it make noise when you run your finger on it. And the reason uh, I wanted a wound string on that is it's, it's a heavier string and so it's, it, it, it gets to that uh, pitch with a little more tension which makes it easier to play. If it were nylon it would be real loose and, and kind of rubbery. There again the education at Ernie Ball I learned so much uh, because I was involved in the, um, the string manufacturing there. These are nylon strings. They're uh, made of a, a nylon material that's extruded and then they grind the outside diameter to the, the correct diameter. The main thing to look for is that the instrument's ma made well and that um, 
Uh, you like the sound of it. That's the main thing is that you like the way it sounds and the, you like the way it plays. And one of the things about um, instruments is the playability, the, the distance the string is from the fret. Sometimes they're really high, which means you spend a lot of effort pushing the string down to the fret. And it also changes the, uh, the tone and, or the pitch if you have to stretch that string too far. That's mainly, the, that's, that's mainly what you look for. Plus, the tuners, especially on ukes, they used, they used to use a friction tuner, which just means you tighten a screw back here and uh, it, it tightened the friction on the, on the uh, tuner so it wouldn't slip. And this uses a planetary gear. That's uh, one big gear with, with three small gears inside, which means uh, there's a... Um, there's a low ratio. This is these are five to one, uh, which makes tuning easier. It just much more precise. The uh, the friction tuners are one to one, and it's really hard to keep them in tune. But these are these uh, tuners are expensive. These are about uh, seventy dollars a set, but worth it if you play a lot and if you want to stay in tune. And you would just make sure that the neck is is uh, not too warped and uh, you look at the constructions. <laughs> I was going to say, be sure it says this on the headstock. <laughs>